So this is an introduction to what the Ektal Far is, what it does and how it does it. There's a lot of confusion about how this instrument works and that's not very weird because it doesn't do things the way people do things normally. Uh, basically it's an electroacoustic string instrument. It has one string with a fixed tuning an electromagnetic pickup, a hammer, a mute, and probably most importantly, a bowing wheel. The main principle of how it generates sound is through modulating the speed of the bowing wheel in order to emphasize natural harmonics that exist in the string. This is right now a mandolin string tuned to an F at 88 hertz. By bowing the string with the bowing wheel at 88 hertz, so the fundamental, we emphasize the fundamental. The octave up and down from a note is always a double or a half of the fundamental frequency. Uh, the ectal far never truly changes the tuning of the string. Instead, we change the speed of the bowing wheel in order to emphasize change. So you get the notions of different octaves, for instance, by simply doubling or having the bowing wheel speed. Uh, so this is one octave up, one octave down, and then two octaves up from the fundamental. So all strings have a set of natural overtones and they all follow the scheme of just intonation based on the fundamental. So with the instrument knowing the fundamental pitch of the string, it uses just intonation to calculate what speed to set the bow to in order to emphasize overtones in between the octaves. So, well, all string overtones, as far as I understand it, follows the scheme of just intonation. These overtones may or may not be present or resonant in any given string. Certain strings will sound very vibrant and full, uh, and some will barely resonate or just have a few points like the fifth and the seventh, maybe, where it resonates. But, so, the string choice is imperative and different strings will sound wildly different. Uh, so there's a ton of fun experimentation that can be done um, here. So the bowing wheel of the ectal far is placed on a pivot and the pressure of the wheel against the string can be freely varied and controlled like a hard pressure of the wheel against the string creates a louder sound and also affects the harmonic content and a lighter pressure creates a more careful less harsh sound there's a ton of variation in just pressure and the pressure can be controlled in any number of ways like cv foot pedal uh, after touch and it can be super expressive
So there is a mute on the Ekdal Far, and it's not just an on-off mute, like mute or don't mute, like on a piano. As can be heard in the example of the overtones, the fundamental is more or less always present, but the fundamental frequency of the string makes the string vibrate in a very wide manner, meaning that the string physically moves the most up and down at this point. So by setting the mute to a point where it inhibits how far the string can swing, you can take down the content of the fundamental and get cleaner overtones. <laughs> So the hammer on the Ectal Far is variable, meaning it can easily be used with velocity sensitive keyboards or whatnot. The original concept of the hammer being part of the far was simply because a bowed sound will never have an instant attack. Thus by engaging the hammer immediately at a key strike, one can get much more rapid action. Uh, in reality, the inclusion of the hammer proved to be way cooler than anticipated and the fact that the hammer will always trigger the fundamental opens for sort of a acoustic duo duophony duophony du duo duophonic acoustic whatever uh where an overtone anywhere on the scale can be combined with an interjection of the fundamental at any time. So let's see here. <laughs> So the hammer, also in combination with the mute, can do some pretty nice percussive stuff if you wanted to, like... The Ectal Far can be controlled with MIDI, USB MIDI, and it can even be controlled directly over serial commands. By using the control box, it can also be CV controlled. So there is a configuration software for the Ectal Far where all settings can be modified and saved directly into the instrument. There is a lot of settings. Uh, the software will run on anything that can run a Python programs. So like Windows, OS X, Linux, and like with some work, probably some phones or tablets or whatever in the future. Uh, through the configuration software, literally every function of the Ectal Far can be remapped to MIDI or CV. And it's such a huge topic. There is an entire mapping language that I'll make another video about that. The software only executes commands that already exist in the Ectal Far. So once settings have been saved, you can disconnect the computer. It doesn't need to be in the picture anymore. Everything is in the guy. The firmware and configuration software for the Ectal Far will be released as open source. And I'm hoping to get community help to make this instrument the best fucking thing it could possibly be. The hardware has been designed to be modified, hacked, and improved upon. As little specialty components as possible have been used, any 3D printed parts will have their STL files released so that replacement parts can be printed very easily and cheaply by just about whoever. 
I think that's pretty much it for intro. Thank you. Bye.